So another one of my big guitar heroes is Kenny Burrell. Now, Kenny Burrell was probably, I'm thinking, is, was the first, you know, kind of famous jazz guitar player that I saw play live. And I was just really so impressed by his elegance as a player. He's, his notes just sing. And, you know, while I was probably first introduced to Wes Montgomery and Wes Montgomery kind of led me to Kenny Burrell, while I was so impressed, I also felt like there was something accessible for me at, at that point as a teenager, you know, learning how to play jazz. Uh, there was something accessible about his music. And a lot of it, I think, had to do because his sound really deeply comes from the blues. And a lot of his ideas um, come right out of the sound of the minor pentatonic scale. Like I remember hearing this one solo that he did on uh, a Midnight Blue, which is one of his famous records. And he starts off with this. Uh, so this like minor pentatonic idea. With this seven sharp nine chord. Now, coming out of Jimi Hendrix, that was like right in my wheelhouse. That was stuff that I had heard. You know, and then he comes down the whole uh, blues scale. And then all minor pentatonic. And I'm like, yeah, I can, I can, uh, you know, really get with this. So he has lots of solos. And then I... A lot of that was part of his sound um, and really kind of gave me license. It's like, oh, so I, I can, that kind of thing can happen in jazz. Um, he had another very famous solo. He played a lot with um, the great organist Jimmy Smith. Wes Montgomery also recorded with him. But Kenny Burrell, I, I'm not sure, but I think he may have recorded more um, with Jimmy Smith. But there's this uh, record of Jimmy Smith called Back at the Chicken Shack. And um, he uh, plays a solo. Uh, the opening part of his solo is like right out of the blues. You know, right out of that chord on a minor pentatonic. Then he changes it up just with an arpeggio, but gets more inside the sound of it. You know, those kinds. Of sounds. And then gets right in the, with that sound of the blues. So he's definitely, his sound is so drenched in the sound of the blues. But he also, you know, has uh, definitely a, um, a bebop knowledge. And he oftentimes will kind of interchange that knowledge of um, you know, bop, hard bop, that kind of sound with this kind of sound of the blues. I remember there's this tune he did um, on a record of his, and the tune is called uh, This Time the Dream's on Me. And he starts off with, you know, this, because uh, it's going to G major, and he resolves to the, and then, brings in the blues something along those lines you know you know answers the um, you know the the chord changes with this kind of blues infused sort of sound um, but he also you know had definitely um, a lot of hard bop knowledge too and um, uh, there's this tune, uh, Laresto, which he, he's, I believe, the only guitar player who ever recorded with John Coltrane. Um, I think John, the legend goes that John Coltrane uh, wanted to re uh, record with Wes, but Wes was too intimidated by um, John Coltrane 
Um, so Kenny Burrell ended up uh, getting the call. He did two records. Uh, one is called Kenny Burrell, John Coltrane. The other is called The Cats. And um, there's this tune, Little Resto. And Kenny plays something like... Uh, You know, this kind of nice kind of outline. You know, it brings in this outlining of the chord, but also brings in some tension. Sharp five. You know, this kind of it ends, it, you know, with the blues. There's this other part of the tune, too, where there's all of these um, kind of alterations that he puts on, uh, something like. Uh, you know, this kind of, uh, you know, uh, kind of typical thing that John Coltrane would do, you know. kinds of things so you know he had that blues thing he has that real kind of hard bop knowledge thing but he was also such an there is such an elegant player Kenny Burrell is still alive today um, and um, I remember there's this intro that he did on uh, the tune since I fell for you uh, <laughs> elegant you know bringing out the sound of the of the uh, melody you know he something similar to that so you know he had all of these kinds of things in you know that are part of his sound he also I I've met him several times and um, I also watched or was uh, present for a workshop that he did, and he's an, was a tremendous teacher, or is a tremendous teacher. I mean, he is able to really kind of articulate some things about the guitar that are um, not a lot of people talk about. You know, about technique and about um, you know sound and connecting notes and all those kinds of things. So Kenny Burrell is definitely, you know, a huge influence on me and uh, for the way that he infuses the blues into his playing, for his hard bop lines, and, you know, really for the uh, elegance in the way that he plays and plays chords and, and, and lines. Very thoughtful kind of player. I really dig Kenny Burrell. <laughs> 